Hey guys and welcome to Pregnancy Week 28. I am 28 weeks and 3 days pregnant. So I did miss my 27 week update so this is going to be 27 slash 28 weeks pregnant. And I apologize but I've been so so busy. So today is Saturday. I had my last day with students on Thursday and my last day of work was Friday. So I am officially on summer break and I am so excited because I won't have to go back to work again until, um, hopefully until I have this baby. So, so after I have this baby. So, um, staff reports back August 9th and I am due August 17th. The first day of school with students is August 16th. So there is a chance that I will be able to um, go to work the first couple days of school or you know if I go two weeks past my due date maybe I'll be out of school for two weeks before I go on maternity leave. So that actually would, would be good for me so I'm kind of hoping that I do at least make it the first couple days of the new school year that way I can get to know my students they can get to know me and I can start um, teaching them my rules routines and procedures I'm a little nervous about like them starting off the school year with someone else just because it those first few weeks are just so crucial with setting down the framework for the school year, teaching those rules, routines, and procedures in the way that my classroom works. So, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, but as of right now, I'm on summer break, and I could not be happier. Today, what is today? Today is May 28th, and we've officially moved June 14th. So, we still got a couple weeks here, and then we'll be moving, and I'm so excited. Have not started packing yet, so I'll be spending the next couple weeks de um, going through things, getting rid of things that we don't need, donating things, throwing things away, and then packing. So that's what I'll be doing the next couple of weeks. <sighs> as far as the pregnancy goes, I am experiencing a couple new symptoms, so I'll go quickly talk about those. The biggest one is I have been starting to get leg cramps like in the morning like right when I wake up wake up or if I like go to stretch stretch out my legs my calves start to like cramp up and I have to like immediately stretch my calves out like pull my heels back and stretch my calves out really quickly before they cramp up so I'm dealing with that um and then pretty much the only other thing is, you know, besides my belly getting bigger, is some of her movements have become so painful. And I know I've talked about this before, but like today it stopped me dead in my tracks like three different times where she's moved. So like right here, like I don't know if it's because, you know, this is where my muscles are separated and they're tender like here. But like if she moves, like I just feel like she's scraping something up against the wall there and it hurts so bad. It's just so tender in those spots when she moves. And um, also when she's moving, I'm getting like, sometimes I'll get like sharp, <laughs> like it feels like she's kicking or punching my bladder. So movement has just gotten crazy. Like I feel her, I can feel her like stretch on this side and stretch on this side so kind of like imagine like a balloon and like her being inside the balloon and like pushing on the inside of the balloon is kind of what it feels like in there so her movements are crazy I'm feeling her move all the time all day every day and some of them are really starting to hurt <laughs> so those are two of the main new symptoms of these last couple of weeks I had a midwife appointment a couple days ago and I, I passed my glucose test. My They want your glucose reading to be 140 or below and mine was 106 so I passed with flying colors which was great. 
I was, my blood pressure was 116 over 72 or something like that. I forgot my paper that I haven't written down. And the depressing thing is, I am officially, are you ready? I'm officially the heaviest I have ever been in my entire life, which is not fun. It's actually quite depressing. I weighed, I gained 30 pounds with both of my kids, with Jane and Ann Coralai. On delivery day, I weighed 160 pounds. So I started out at what, around 130, had them at 160, gained 30 pounds. I am now at 28 weeks, 163 pounds. So not at all happy about that. It's so depressing, but I know that I'm only at about an 18 pound weight gain at this point. So it's really not terrible. Like I've said in previous videos, I'm starting this pregnancy out 15 pounds heavier and I'm st so much stronger than I ever was with Jaden and Coralai. With both of them, I never worked out. I didn't work out at all. So I had like no muscle mass at all. So I'm working out. I have some muscle. So I know it's not like all fat, but it's still quite depressing. I am, I do feel like I do have more fat on my body than when I did with them. But you know, what can you do at this point? I try not to think about it too much because I really start to get stressed out about it and like really depressed, but I'm just, I gotta end this pregnancy. It's my last pregnancy and then I'm gonna start working out religiously and watching what I eat. I'm just, just trying to coast through the rest of this pregnancy and then I can really, you know, six weeks postpartum really start trying to lose weight and get back down where I was. So. Other than that, my belly's measuring right where it's supposed to be. The baby's heartbeat was in the 140s. Everything um, is good. Um, yeah, other than, you know, the leg cramps in the morning and the, her movements kind of being a little um, more painful, I've been feeling pretty good. Pretty good. I never get nauseous anymore. That's a thing of the past. I'm so over that. So I just I feel really good. I do notice that I am getting like a little bit more tired like when I'm on my feet and walking. Like I have to take breaks and sit down just because I get all that pressure down there and it just doesn't feel good. So I do have to um, sit more often. But other than that, things are going really, really well. So um, as far as baby buys go, I only have one baby buy. <clears throat> which is a pack of eight washcloths. Got these at Babies R Us. And I know I'm gonna need a couple packs more, but I buy these for, to use as uh, cloth wipes. And I just, for my cloth wipes, I just use plain baby washcloths. And I get the kind that don't have the thick, like edging, the thick seam around the edge. So the kind that are just real sewn like this. The ones on the, if they're like have that thick edging, they just don't work as well. And I just don't like, you know, I like how I can just ball this up. It just feels, it feels like a disposable wipe, but it's just, you know, cloth. So these are what I use. I'll end up cutting all the tags off of them. But these work really, really, really well as cloth wipes. And then I just use water. I take a dry one and I run it under the faucet to get it wet. And they work so much better than disposable wipes. So that's the only baby bite, and I think the only other thing, hope I'm not missing anything. Really not too much going on. I'll show you the belly, and then we will be done for this week. All right, so here I am, 28 weeks, weeks pregnant, and I forgot to say, I start seeing the midwife every two weeks now, which is crazy. I can't believe it's already that time to start seeing them every two weeks. So my next appointment will be in two weeks. This looks like from the front. Here she is from the side. I feel like she's like pretty far up there and it's very firm. Okay. So there she is, 28 weeks. Try 
a second for you. All right, that's it, and I'll see you guys for next week. Bye.